Uh, my name is Bruce Melody. I'm an artist, music artist. Uh, also, I'm a co-owner of a basketball team. Uh, United United Generation Basketball, Changwase UGB. Uh, this is a great opportunity for me as a young Rwandan who has been in Rwanda since I was born. I'm now 31 years old. Who uh, communist I'm not young anymore. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Your Excellency, First Lady, Honourable Stars, and everybody. Good afternoon. So today is my 11th day as N NBA Africa. That was a surprise. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as I said, I'm from Kigali. I'm from Rwanda. I was born and raised there. And that's where I started my career as an artist. Uh, arena. That's when I realized, like, our oh, wow. entertainment facilities, as 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 you mentioned, uh, it's it has been very very hard for an artist like me. Uh, to perform or to organize your own event. But remember when I launched I launched my 10 years event, like my 10 years celebration of my career in Kigali Arena. That's why like our entertainment has been doing it for a long time. And I would say that uh, these this entertainment facilities put our country on the global stage. It promotes our culture and those who come to get to our country, uh, they go back with our culture and they go back with uh, our music. That's, that's, that's how we become, we, we, we become promoted. I'll give you an example. Uh, one of the guy whose name is Steve, uh, he's a, one of the members of the record label here in America, which is called Ace Carve Records. He had my music when he was in Kigali, and he liked my songs. He contacted me, and now I'm working with Hollywood. <laughs> through, through that person, and that's where the, the collab with Shaggy came from. So, uh, Back in the days, I used to go, when I started to travel, trying to promote my music, I used to go outside of the country, and when I said I'm from Rwanda, people used to confuse it, they'd be like, wow, you Rwanda, Uganda? And I'd be like, no, I'm from Rwanda, but now, here we are, last year I came here, and everywhere I went, they know Rwanda, and they know us very well. So, uh, it's very, very good. Uh, as I said, I was born in 92. To some, at the, at, this, at the point, maybe I was born in the wrong timing, you know what, but not really because I'm happy that I have seen all these 30 years with my own eyes. I've seen the country growing. It was very hard for the time because performing in front of people like you used to be sad to the point that you tell them to clap and they cannot through the entertainment and all this entertain people people are happy back at home uh, have you heard about this comedy and music basketball football so this if, uh, if it wasn't the uh, entertainment uh, facilities, this is what would be happening like this. 
uh, and maybe if I can come in there, I saw from the statistics that Francis uh, 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 when you have facilities like those, it's not just about sports. Um, I think RDB just released their statistics. They've, they made 90, $92 million from MICE holding events in Rwanda, of which close to 15% were sports events. But when you have an arena like that, I think what we've seen also from Rwanda is that you host sports events, yes, you host music uh, concerts. We saw Kendrick Lamar and many women, among others, come to Rwanda to participate in the arena. We see music, yeah, gospel music, uh, Israel and Bonya, filling up the stadium. So from sports to you know, traditional music, gospel, and then you see Hunger Pitch Fest, a technology event in the, in the arena. So I think our message is, when you have facilities like that, they're multi-purpose, they're economic driver, you can make money, 15% of mice uh, from uh, that, and this is what we're telling other countries as well in Africa. Don't look at it as sports only, look at it as an economic driver, and you can actually make money uh, from running